Hi there, welcome back. Let's talk about data science jobs again, because in a previous video, I talked about the fact that it's quite hard to get into the data science field from having no experience and the fact that you need experience to start off as a data scientist. But this is kind of like the chicken and egg problem. How are you, how are you going to get experience if you cannot find a job in the first place? But here's the thing. You don't need to start off directly as a data scientist. You can get a job in a related field and then after a one or two year period in which you get experience on the job, then you can transition into data science, machine learning, and so on. So you need to think about it differently than the majority of people that have very high expectations straight from the start. Oh, if I just learn these 10 skills, I'm just gonna get a job as a data scientist. Because all of these uh, courses online, all of these universities promise you that if you just learn these 10 skills, you're going to be so good that all companies are going to battle for you for to get you on board. And that is not the case. How are you going to learn uh, 10 skills? Straight off the bat. The majority of people that work as data scientists or machine learning engineers, they didn't start off as data scientists and machine learning engineers. They gathered their skills in a long period of time. They didn't just sit down and got 10 years of experience in a day, okay? They didn't get 10, uh, 10 courses online, researched all of these topics, you know, oh, I'm gonna learn programming, oh, then I'm gonna learn machine learning, then I'm going to learn statistics, and then I'm going to learn uh, other topics like SQL. You know, all of these specific areas require you months, if not years, to master. So if you're just a fresh graduate, how are you, how are you expected to know all of these things because companies actually want you to know everything so you need to start off with low-hanging fruit meaning a data position that is not specific data science something like data analysis or a product analyst or something that allows you to get that uh, experience and then transition into data science of course there are different paths but again having in mind that the majority of data scientists that are practitioners in the field don't have uh, their full background in data science tells you something. Because everybody has the impression that if you just get a degree from a university, then you're going to be set up. But then you have a reality check and you're gonna realize like a lot of companies will require from you more than just a data science degree. You're going to need to have proper experience in the field. Because this is the problem here. Everybody focuses so much on learning new skills that they get trapped into this never ending cycle of just learning more and more. And they just think about, oh, if I just learn this new skill, I'm going to be successful. And that is not the case. Because you see, by always learning new skills all the time, by always improving the product or let's say the service that you are, right? You're always going to be sitting on the sideline and you're never going to feel good enough, prepared enough to actually tackle the job market or data science problems or anything that you want to actually pursue, you're going to be trapped by this mentality that if I just learn another new skill, I'm going to be successful. And it's easy, you know, it's easy to learn. Once you get started with learning, you're always going to feel like, oh, there's another thing to learn and another thing. And if I just learn that, then uh, you find excuses so that you don't actually start anything because learning eventually becomes very easy. It's like the de facto, right? It's the de facto state that you are in. Just learning, learning, and learning, not actually doing anything. You need to think about how all these people before you started their data science journey. Did they always have a clear cut goal? And did they follow the same path that you are being taught to follow? Because look around, all the articles online just tell you exactly this is what you need to learn in order to get a data science job. If it's going to be that easy, then anybody can do it, right? Imagine the people that write those articles, why don't they start it, right? Why do they write articles and they're like, I don't know, writers or, or something like that, right? Why, why do they do that? Why don't they just start it up? Because they have the diagram right there. They know exactly, oh, if you just learn SQL, if you just learn maths, if you just learn programming, you're going to be a data scientist and you're going to be very successful. But you see, it's not that easy. Because if it would be that easy, everybody would do it. And in order to be successful in this field, you cannot follow the same path that everybody is following. So what I'm saying is that having a clear cut goal and following a specific path is not enough. It's good, 
but it's not enough. You know, it's good to a certain extent. It's good up until you actually start being too caught up in the path and not seeing around you because you need to be able to adapt based on where the market is going. And at one point, many people, because they get trapped into this never-ending cycle of learning, they forget to have a reality check. They forget to see, oh, but where is the data science market going? Where is it going to be in five, 10 years? Oh, I need to go in that direction. You always need to adapt and leverage the skills that you have in order to achieve that goal. This is how successful data scientists built themselves up, by leveraging the skills that they already had and then gradually adding new skills based on where the market has been moving. So you need to always adapt to where the market is going. If you're just stuck on the same path that you thought about when you actually started your data science journey, you're going to end up in a place that is different than where the market is going. Think about yourself as an MVP, a minimum viable product. You start off with a set amount of skills, a limited amount of skills. With that limited amount of skills, you can test for market fit. Now, if the market accepts your skills, then clearly you succeeded. But if the market rejects your skills, then it's clear that you need to add something new. And at each point, whenever you go through this loop of checking for market fit and then learning new skills, then you see exactly where the market is against your data science path. And you always adapt in order to be better and be better as a data scientist or a, a data science beginner, let's say. But thinking that you need to know everything straight from the start and the fact that you need to be a rock star data scientist straight from the beginning after graduating or after just one or two years is just going to set you up for disappointment. You don't want to you don't want to think that, oh, you just need to learn so many things in such little time. You need to be gradually adding to your skill set so that the data science journey that you are on will lead you on a nice path. And you're going to also enjoy the work that you're doing. Imagine the entrepreneur that is always working on his startup because he has no courage to actually release it to do sales and marketing. This is how many people are. They just get caught up in learning new skills because it's the safe way to do it, right? It's safer to just continue learning instead of going out there and getting the things that you deserve. This is exactly what most people do. They just search for, for easy ways, for a simple ways to achieve something, but they never have the courage to actually go out there and, and risk, you know, risk at an interview. Even if you don't know a lot of things that you might be asked at an interview, it's not a problem. At least you know what is expected from you and then next time you will perform a little bit better. I know most companies look for top performers in data science and they look for people that have 10 years of experience in data science so that they can give them jobs. But this is an unachievable goal for somebody that just finished university or is just one or two years after graduation. So this is an impossible standard to meet. And if you try to meet the standard, you will definitely be disappointed and you will always think like, oh, data science is not for me. But it's clearly for you if you already started on this journey. All you have to do is go for low hanging fruit and go for data science related, let's say positions such as data analyst or, or even something more different. But what's important is to get that data related job that can help you get that experience. And after a couple of years, you can get into the data science field properly as a machine learning engineer or something else, depending what the job titles will be at that specific point. But regardless of the job that you perform, you need to think about it from the perspective of five, 10 years into the future, not just literally where you are now. Oh, I just need a data science position now and that's all I'm going to go for. No, you need to be a little bit more flexible, see where the market is at and also see where you are at when it comes to your skill level. This is how you're going to save yourself from a lot of disappointment in the long term. Because if you check out the profiles of different data scientists around the world, the LinkedIn profiles of different data scientists around the world, you're going to find a couple of common traits. Most of them have degrees in computer science or analytics or something related. Most of them have been working for 10, eight, 10 years but they only started in data science and machine learning maybe two, three, four years ago. So what does this tell you? It tells you that they didn't start off directly as data scientists. They had other roles and then they transitioned 
into data science along the way because that's what interested them and then it kind of it kind of was just like a normal career progression so don't beat yourself up if you cannot find a job immediately after you graduate or one or two years afterwards it's important to do something data related and then you can transition into data science and machine learning along the way so instead of chasing new skills all the time and just getting on this new skill treadmill just try a different strategy try to go for data related jobs and then after a couple of years try to transition into data science because clearly many times it's not really working just to try to go for machine learning for a machine learning engineer job straight out of uh, graduation of course there are many paths and for some people this might work but if it doesn't work it's not a problem okay you can just adapt and then try out a different strategy so be smart about it don't give up just because you cannot find a job immediately i really hope that this video helped you guys let me know what you think down in the comments don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of videos and as always i'll see you in the next one